Brenda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make a healthified banana pudding. Now this is a made over version of that original favorite recipe and has 32% less calories than the original, so your tummy will thank you. I have our ingredients all laid out here, let's get started. So for our ingredients, we have three cups of fat-free milk, we have two boxes, four serving size each, of French vanilla instant pudding. We have four containers, six ounces each, of Yoplait Original 99% fat-free banana cream or French vanilla yogurt. Today we're using French vanilla. We have one container, an eight ounce container, of frozen fat-free whipped topping, which has been thawed. We have 48 reduced fat vanilla wafer cookies. And then here we have six small bananas which have been sliced. So to begin, we are going to add our pudding mix and our milk together. And I would definitely recommend using either an electric mixer, like a standing electric mixer or a little hand mixer. And you wanna mix this together. Now we're gonna add in our yogurt. I just want to make sure I don't have any lumps, so I'm just going to kick up my, my speed a little bit. Beautiful. Now we are going to fold in our whipped cream. So literally, you're just going to put it in like this, and then you fold it. So you're, we want to keep the fluffiness of the whipped cream, right? We want, we want fluff here. We want yummy, creamy, fluffy goodness. So we don't want to stir it too much. We don't want to whip it or beat it into submission. We want to fold it in. Gently fold. So just keep on doing that until it's nicely combined. Okay. Now I have an ungreased um, 13 by 9 inch pan and we are going to line the bottom with half of our Nilla wafers. Ta-da, six by four, we've got our 24 here. Now we're gonna spoon half of the mixture over the top. Spoon that on in. We are just gonna smooth, smooth it over. Beautiful, and you wanna be gentle because you do have those wafers under there and you don't want them to move around too much. Okay, now it's time for our bananas. So we're gonna arrange all of our bananas here on this next layer. This is a banana-rific layer. So just get these all down. Okay, so our bananas are all beautifully laid out. Look at this. So next step is to put the rest of this pudding mixture over the top. Spoon it over. Just kind of smoothing as you go. Okay, do a nice little scrape. We don't want to lose any of this yumminess. I want to smooth it out. I want to make sure that those corners get nice and covered. Because so whoever gets the one of those end pieces, you want them to be just as happy as a middle piece person. Okay, so now our last step is just to cover this, the top little layer, with the remaining 24 Nilla wafers. Okay, so there we go. Look how pretty this looks. So retro looking, isn't it? It looks like you have cute little yummy, nummy Nilla polka dots on top of your banana pudding. So now we're ready to go. You're done. All you have to do is just cover this, pop it into the refrigerator for three hours, let it chill for at least three hours, it'll get it nice and, and thickened up and cool and yummy delicious. Um, no more than eight though. Your bananas will get kind of soggy and oxidized if you do it any longer than eight hours. But three to eight hours, then you are ready to serve this delicious, healthified banana pudding. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at request at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.